Today we're going to take a look at how to show video in Teams so that people can hear the audio as well. So by the end of today's video, you'll know how to share your screen to set that up. Have a look at the differences between PC, Mac, browser and mobile. And as a bonus tip, we'll show you how to seamlessly embed your video into PowerPoint so that you're not either scribbling your mouse across the slides to try and find the play button or switching out to a completely separate video file which is a bit jarring whilst you're presenting. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. If you need help with training, click the free download button in the description below to get access to our slides that we use for training that goes along with our basic tutorial series on YouTube. If you're ready for more help unlocking all the benefits of Microsoft 365 and how Teams can help you embed that in your organization to supercharge efficiency with modern ways of working and automation, then book a call below to see if you qualify for our new program to help you realize all those benefits. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at video sharing in Teams and getting the audio sorted. Okay, so let's dive in and have a look at Teams. Um, I've got a few instances of Teams open here. So I've got one in Edge, in the browser, I've got one in the Mac version of Teams, and I'm learning Parallels on my Mac, which you don't need to worry about if you don't know what that is, but basically I can uh, have a PC version on my Mac, so I can get all three versions on one screen, uh, if that's why you're wondering, I've got all one set up. So let's just drive into Meet Now, and start a meeting. And say I wanted to um, start, sharing something, some video, I would click share, uh, share my desktop, but before I click the desktop, you need to tick this include system audio. And then when you share your screen, then anything that comes through your computer, everyone on the call, on the meeting, in Teams will be able to hear it. So if you then want to play a video, you can just go to the video file. If you're sharing PowerPoint slides and that's got audio in it, then that would play through. If you don't tick that little box before you share um, and the sound's not coming through, pretty much the only way to get back is to stop sharing your screen, um, share your screen again, and then make sure you click that box before you click that. So if you click desktop and then think you want to tick it afterwards, it just starts sharing and you can't no one be able to hear anything that's coming through. Um, so you need to tick that one to to make it make it work. Okay, so let's hang up on the PC version. If we jump into the Mac version, you'll see a obvious difference that when we then come to share our screen on the Mac, there is no tick button. And same thing in the browser, if we come into the same channel, a uh, little tip, you can have more than one meet now going on within a channel. Um, if you've not tried that before. And then again, if we then come to share our screen in the browser, there's no tick box to uh, include system audio. So I was speaking to a friend that found that quite confusing. Um, it is quite confusing, but basically you need the PC uh, desktop app to be able to show video and share audio to people on the call. Um, same on the iOS version of uh, the mobile app, I'm pretty sure it's the same on Android, though I don't have an Android to test. Um, you can share your screen on uh, mobile, you can share a presentation even, but there's no option to share the audio through that at the time of recording. I think Microsoft are working on that. So um, hopefully that helps quite quickly. Um, just wanted to give you another little tip, hang up these calls. And if we jump into PowerPoint, I'll then show you how to embed your video so that you can just move through the slides. The video will be part of the slides, it'll start playing, it'll move on to the next slide after playing to stop all of those awkward moments when you're scrabbling around trying to get your video to play. Um, so we'll jump into PowerPoint now. Okay, so I'm in PowerPoint now and we've got the slides that we used in our last webinar. If you've not seen that, then I'll put a link in the description uh, below. And say that we then want to include our, you know, our live video 
uh, embedded in these slides. So we're talking um, someone through them and we then want to um, go back and put a video in. So say that we wanted to stick a video in after here. So we still want to talk through these first slides maybe and then we've got a video we want to insert. So we'll insert a new slide which uh, we can do with control uh, M. Uh, we will just make that to a blank slide and then we're going to come into insert video and a video on my PC. So we're going to go and point to the video that we want to use and click insert. Now that's quite a big file so it took a while so I've just speeded up the video. Um, but the set, so probably you've all done that, but when you, if you just left it like that, then um, a couple of things happen when you try and present it back. So if we flick onto the previous slide and click the reading view, which is basically the slideshow, but without making it full screen, and then we click onto the next slide, it goes onto the video, but it's not playing. And then if we were uh, presenting it live, if you've seen, well, you know, we've all done it, seen people, other people do it, scrabbling around, trying to get your mouse to pop up on the screen to click play, and then it's going to play the video. Hi guys, welcome to today's live training. And then at the end of the video, it's just going to stop, it doesn't do anything else, and then you're scrabbling around trying to click, and then it's replays, and then you've got to hit the arrow to sort of uh, move it on, and it eventually goes on to the next slides. So that's what we're trying to avoid. So some quick settings to change on the video. So one, we wanna click on the video and go to uh, playback. We wanna play full screen, so that if we've not you know, completely aligned where the video points are, or if it's you know, a bit of a smaller picture, you don't have to worry about that, it's just gonna play full screen. You can then say start uh, automatically, which means it'll start when you go onto the slide. And when we want to move on to the next slide after it's finished, to do that, you just come into your normal transitions and then you want to say either on mouse click or after naught seconds. And the reason we put naught seconds is that uh, PowerPoint by default will finish the video and then it won't have any other delay afterwards. It'll just go on to the next slide. So obviously this is quite a long video. Uh, but we'll see if we can show you at least the automatic start. So if we go back into reading view on the slide before, go on to the next slide, you can see it started playing automatically and it's full screen. If I jump to the very end, I'm not sure if it'll jump onto the next slide because I think we've already clicked it, so it might think we need to stay. Um, but if you've left it running all the way through, and it's a shorter video obviously, then it should move on to the next slide after the video's finished for you. Yeah, so only it works if you haven't clicked on the video to advance the video. Um, so I can't show you that right now, that, that, that video. Um, but the, if you've got the transition set on that slide to go after uh, naught seconds, then as long as you've played the video all the way through, it'll go onto the next slide for you. If you interact with it, it'll assume that you kind of want to stay on that slide because you're doing stuff to it. Um, but hopefully that was a good little tip that uh, some of you didn't know. Um, let us know what you think in the comments about the sharing audio. Is it confusing? Let us know about what you think about the PowerPoint embedding. Uh, do you do it? Do you flick to another video um, file? How do you present video? Uh, to your team's meetings. So remember to give the video a like if you liked it, hit subscribe and the bell icon if you haven't already. We've got new Teams videos coming out every Tuesday. Click the free download link if you haven't already to get access to our deck of slides that go along with our free basic training tutorial and schedule a call if you need some more help and you've already watched the webinar we did last week that's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.